What's up my Owen fans, this is Raphael from C Manga and welcome back to another review of The Breaker New Ways this week's chapter 172. So this is more like it, this chapter was much better than last week. For one, we had a lot more pages and two, we had a lot more content and action. And it's funny because it's the same thing I brought up before, um, these chapters are so interconnected, they're literally, you might as well say, um, one after the other, like they're so joined together that the last um, page of the last chapter with you know Haru using a whip against Jiwoo was um, continued straight into the beginning of this um, chapter the first page was um, Yonghyun basically blocking the whip so it makes me think that um, the authors are still you know struggling to I'd say write in a weekly style I don't think they're really used to that and now that I still don't think they've gotten used to it because the way they end stuff um, kind of shows that um, it ended abruptly and it wasn't meant to end that way and even this chapter kind of ends a bit abruptly but it, I'd say it was better than last week because it, it kind of wrapped up better so yeah um, basically we f as I said those three at the beginning um, Young Hun is basically saying we haven't got time for the shoe and is on the way you know and he's approaching much faster than expected and typical as Haru has been throughout this series she's been ignorant and arrogant and saying Oh, you're just trying to um, change the subject. It's like I'm not. Gonna, um, how can this little brat actually get here on time, or even faster than way we've expected? He only, he's only got one person with him. That's Jong Lei Wang, and so there's no way he can reach um, us um, any time soon. And what was funny was what followed up. She literally had to eat those words, or um, she didn't even get to finish those words because uh, SUC Grunt's body flew right off towards her. <laughs> and completely cut a sentence short so that answered the question like yeah she win is here and so you can tell he's starting to get out of breath now he's huffing and puffing and John Lei Wan is once again amazed by his strength and ability but he's trying to calm him down now and convince him to you know think a bit more carefully about their next move they shouldn't be so rash about what they're doing charging their enemy um ahead, you know full steam ahead into the enemy isn't a really good plan and um he feels like it's going to backfire on him, but she is literally working against the clock. We haven't got time for this, you know. Elder Kong is hurt and he's hiding his injury from Jay Gao and it's only become, going to become increasingly harder and harder for him to fight in that state. And as time goes on, you know, he's eventually going to lose against Jay Gao. So he's, so he's literally um, on the warpath, cutting through any enemy that gets on his way to get to Chang Wu. And so he can stop this madness and... Um, um, while he was talking you know Haru is being literally quite a bitch in this um, chapter she sneaked attacked um, she would literally try to whip him in the face but um, he managed to dodge it and she's still so full of herself she's saying oh you've improved a bit but you can't take on all three of us and um, what I love is that throughout this chapter she has been so calm and composed he's just asking you know the most um, intricate questions they're not that intricate but you know it's like it's um kind of um deep how he's talking about politics and kind of stuff like that in a way it's like he's questioning them do you actually know what you're doing you know the motive behind your so-called plan and enlightenment and um you know they're on the same kind of um deal as everyone else to spread the will of the nine arts dragons across the world and he straight away just ignores this and says you're chatting complete rubbish you're just terrorists terrorizing people there is no um spreading the will of nine arts you're just hurting people um so basically they're getting surrounded now and um jong lei one is getting nervous but she wins says the same thing to him as before stay close to me and we're gonna charge ahead so um haru is um completely caught off guard as she would charge straight for her and was gonna punch her down but she um, barely dodges and that opens the path up so she would had no intention of fighting him as you um, as he was doing earlier he just wanted to scare her so she moved out the way and then charge ahead but she had no intention of doing that saying I'm not gonna get let you get away she um, uses her whip but he dodges that and, and simultaneously Ji Woo attacks from behind as well and he dodges it's like he kind of um, I don't know how he done it, it was like he dodged backwards and then dodged forwards um, from both of their whips which was amazing because even she was like this kind of movement is crazy and um, then barely um, blocking Yong Hong's um, punch at the end and the SUC surrounds him again so it, things starting to look dire, Haru's um, arrogantly telling him to surrender you know I won't beat up that pretty face of yours if you just give up now 
but um, Shuvan's not having any of it. He goes into his stance like before. He says the ones who should give up is you, and um, you and the rest of you, and and that pretty much lays the gauntlet down. So there, um, it shows a free panel of um, the SGC captains ready to fight, saying, "Okay, fine," but there's no going back after this. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen next time. I mean, I can assume um, Yong Hung already knows that Shuvan is out of their league. So I can imagine he's prepared to just stall or he's most likely prepared just to stall for time and end up losing. Um, of Ji Woon is pretty much the weakest out of them, so I'm pretty sure she can't do a damn thing and Haru is in my in terms weak as well. Um so yeah, I think like Young Hung is probably the only one who realizes that they're gonna be fighting a losing battle because I don't know why Haru is talking so much smack talk when um Shi Woon was fighting Doc Henran, you know, back then who was much more powerful than Haru. And she was crapping herself back then. And that was a week as she wouldn't remember. So now he's much more stronger after using his triple, going into the triple blossom meditation. So it makes me wonder, it's like, what is she talking about? Or is she just bluffing and chatting complete like rubbish? She knows that she's weaker. Or she generally thinks she's stronger than she would because she keeps talking down to him, looking down on him. And I'm just thinking, you're actually weaker than him back then and you're even weaker now. And this is when he didn't even finish his triple blossom meditation. So I can't wait to see him show the results of that training. Um, Cause I don't think he's gonna need to go use any of the black and heaven and earth techniques or even go into black origin threshold. He's probably gonna either beat them off screen or he is gonna be really quick and then he'll move on and you know, probably have some some other members of the SEC arrive and ask them what happened. And they'll be like, oh, it was him, it was him, he beat us. So yeah, I definitely look forward to that. Haru definitely needs to get slapped because she's getting annoying and she just talks to you, you know, just talks so much more that she can actually do stuff. All mouth, no action. Um, I'm actually wondering after this, will she actually get to fight Jong Chang when, when he arrives there or will So Chang arrive and fight his uncle? Because, you know, they kind of have family issues to deal with. And um, hopefully... Um, Elder Kwong will, you know, not obviously get killed and um, just be beaten and then Ju San Si can arrive with Kang Sung to help them out even though Kang Sung is kind of a walking um, corpse so there's not really much um, Kang Sung can do but Ju San Si is, you know, one of the 10 um, Grand Masters so hopefully he can arrive and um, help Elder Kwong out or at least make Jay Gauf, um flee or something so yeah, um, as I said, this chapter was much better than last week. I'm looking forward to see what happens next. The build up is getting, you know, back on course. And um, yeah, I welcome back the breaker because last week I couldn't really consider that I welcome back. This one seems like the return chapter. So um, you guys know the usual. If you enjoyed this chapter and you got anything to say, leave it in the comment box below. Also, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out more, um, check out our channel for more content similar to this and I'll speak to you guys next week.